What up, homies? Just you're here, your favorite fat man. And we are back with day 11 of the update on this psychotic little experiment that I'm doing. Um, last episode, we talked about the orders. We talked about stuff like that. Um, courtesy, believe it or not, of a comment from... Technically, it was the day two video but it was the second video of day two because day one failed so i i'm losing track myself <laughs> but we we had we had a comment again dude thank you so much and like i said last video today i'm gonna focus more on the skills for this now i'm gonna talk more about once this is all said and done about the feasibility of doing this for the average new person. Um, I'll talk about that at the end. Today we're going to talk about the skills. And a lot of these skills, I've got them rounded up down here. A lot of these skills, believe it or not, can't be done for a trial. Um, so it makes it kind of problematic. And far more challenging, but I'm a glutton for punishment. So I love the challenge. Now, yesterday I spent a healthy amount of time streaming on what I expected to be the most boring stream ever. Because this is literally all that you would see. Orders being updated. Me slipping over here is like, hey, somebody bought some of my Javelin rockets. And I made 27,000 isk. Yay! 27,000 this doesn't mean nothing. Do you look at the grand scheme of I have the potential to make 27 million? Is that going to happen? Very, very, very slowly. Um, it might not even complete before we get the, to the end of this. But again, I digress. So we are going to start talking about the skills. Um, I've been harping about 21 max open orders. Now I was mildly wrong in that number. 25 is the max. And as you can see in training, trade level five, I still have another four days left. In four days, I will have those additional five. But I tr trained accounting and broker relations. Both these two skills marked with a T. I'm on a trial. I can get these in there. Um, Counting is brilliant. It goes after the sales tax of an item. For example, large cap batteries. These guys right here. Go ahead, right click sell. We're going at 34999789. Down here, broker's fee 2.6. Default is 3. I have broker I have broker relations at 4, so it takes out 0 0.04. Or I wrote it wrong. It's point, supposed to be 0 0.1, not 0 0.01. So it brings it down almost half a percent, which isn't a whole lot. You start dealing with larger orders, it matters. But this sales tax one for accounting drops it from 2.0 to 1.2 with level 4. Level 5 will obviously drop it to 1%. So that's very important if you're going to get into something like this. Because the fees and the taxes when you're getting started... If you're not paying attention, it will get you. Especially considering that broker fee pops up anytime you make a change. So let's see here. What can we make a change to real fast to demonstrate? You mean to tell me I am managing? Okay, I was going to say, I got to have something that's not. We're going to change this. A modification of 0.14 ISK. Not even one ISK. Yoink. Too soon. Too soon. Um, this one we can change. Okay, one four two zero 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 nine dot two six point three six isk. Change. Load this up. Don't tell me the dates are still off. And it's gonna make a fool out of me. Fantastic. Usually every order in like you have this 0.25 market escrow because you're changing the escrow. So you also have to pay the 100 ISK fee. So you have to be mindful of that. You will lose 
a hundred and whatever the change is every order you make. So getting started with a lower amount is detrimental. Well, not detrimental. It can be overcome. You have to find the right, um, what's it called? You have to find the, the right item to use. And what helped me in the early going, so if somebody's getting started, you got a low amount of ISK, um, this is what I used in the very, very beginning, if you haven't seen the second day. These bad boys right here, the Scourge Light Missiles. Now, obviously, they have killed its margin, but these help me out. So look for stuff like that. Make your orders count and find something that's got a good quantity difference. Um, let's see here. Even these Javelin Rockets right now. That's an amazing margin. And they have moved. I mean, you can see that that's what, uh, just over 30,000 rockets. I've got 1,300 here, just short of 4,000 there. So a number of them have moved. So if you're just getting started, grab the Javelin rockets. Grab some of the other rockets and look for those marginal differences. Um, anyhow, that's that's how you combat those taxes and those fees. Um, then we've got these four, which I'm going to skip for the time being um, and go down to the bottom. Trade, retail, wholesale, and tycoon. Now, these are the ones that are going to add to this number right here. Five out of 21. Trade you can do as a trial. Retail cannot be trained on trial accounts. And it also, okay, that just requires trade too. So, but it can't be trained on trial. I thought one of them required social. Um, but it each level, so you get uh, retail one, you get an additional eight. So, and I broke it. I didn't break it down, but twenty five at trade five. If you get retail to five, it's an, up to sixty five. Wholesale five brings it up to one hundred and forty five, and then tycoon five. 305. I really need to learn to turn that off. Um, but just to get to Tycoon, just to show you, requires wholesale 5, 48 days. And that's calendar days for those of you that don't play this game. So, where is my calendar? 48 days. So, start counting them out, kind of thing. Um, and then each level higher, that's just to get the book. Each level higher is more and more and more time. So that breaks it down for you right there. To get from four to five for retail, you're looking at 12 days. To get from four, four to five for wholesale, you're looking at 24. Now, obviously 12, 24. I don't know if that means that Tycoon 4 to 5 is 36, but it's possible. So those are those skills get you more orders. Um, now, if you're rocking 300 orders and you're maintaining 300 orders, you're a better man or woman than me. And this is what you do. You have probably multiple accounts spread across multiple screens doing this, doing that running freighters back and forth, just going balls deep ape shit. And me, not so much. Um, now, if if I succeed and I don't biomass this guy and we continue forward, then yeah, definitely. I'm going to be adding some of these skills so that I can do other stuff. I can trade back and forth with Amar or some of the other trade spots because you also got wrench you got the dixie and i think even heck has become a uh, trade system but adding more availability of items and more price variants could help but we got to get there first um now these four skills um what a transition right day trading marketing procurement and visibility on one of my other tunes sitting on gate camps, like I said, or mining, I will do market trading in Omar, but I'm not in Omar doing it. That's where these come in. Like day trading, 
you don't have to be sitting in system to do your trading. Now, there is an advantage because, say, well, I'll make a modification to this. And I know I, I've been given, hey, there's this, this cool program out there that will update these numbers for you. I don't believe in that stuff. Not a huge fan. But say this, I get five of these, all of a sudden, boom, wind up in here. Right click sell, I can start that process. The big problem with remote stuff is when you pull open your personal assets window, this is what you use to get access to sell these items. Delayed five minutes. So sometimes I'll sit here and yeah, there's a five minute delay, there's also a five minute delay in updating your price. Probably not a coincidence. But if these items sell quickly and I've got to turn around and put them back on the market, being in system means I have immediate access to my inventory. So when they drop into my inventory, I can access them. So if you're going to do it passively, you're going to do it as a side gig while you're out mining or, or whatever the case may be. These are the skills you want. Starting with marketing and procurement, buying and selling. This gives you the ability to not have to sit in station and do it. Um, as you can see, marketing being the selling, procurement being the buying. You, you kind of want to have those matched. So where your buying and selling distance is the same. Now day trading is making changes to that. I mean, you can see like right here, modify order. Now you can right click modify. You don't have to cancel the order every time. Um, let's chit chat with somebody yesterday and that was a very um, costly lesson that they learned. So you can see total change, broker fee, 100 disc. Um, so just right click modify and you should be good to go. This day trading, you would do everything as just like you would. So you have all your orders, an order in here changes, this updates. Ooh, what's sold? One large cap battery. Fantastic. So it's, it's stuff like that. And then you have, again, the day trading remote modification. The visibility is when you place a buy order, and let's see here if there's anything I can place a buy order on. Um, I'm not touching warp disruptors. Uh, I told somebody I wouldn't, so I'm going to leave that alone because I'm a nice guy sometimes. Um, these aren't doing so great. You can see some of them I've got to make updates on, so I will be doing that as well. Well, crap. This one pisses me off, and I'll explain that in a minute. One second, guys. Ah, excuse me. Okay, so we're placing a buy order. 3500000.63. Now you have this range button down here. This is what they're talking about. You can either select anywhere in the solar system, the region, or a number of jumps to where, say you're sitting 10 jumps out and somebody next to you is, 10, is looking at the item you're selling. They can buy it at that range if it's available. Um, does this show range? Yes, range, two jumps. So this guy is, is wants to buy 849 of these within two jumps. So anywhere in a two jump radius from Jitta, somebody could sell him to him. That's pretty much all it is, very simple. But depending on what you're doing, it could be beneficial. So that is your visibility. Now that one I don't use so much because then you have a whole lot of moving. So if you have an alt or something like that, and you want to shuttle him back and forth in a hauler or a freighter, it opens up the ranges for you, which isn't bad. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad idea. I'm rocking a single tune. Well, here, my others aren't involved in this. So it wouldn't benefit me. So those are the skills you want to look at if you're going to get into trading 
in my opinion, in any way, shape, or form. Um, we saw the recap. So where are we at today? The most important question of the hour. Yesterday I broke it down because what I've been doing for the first week is the starting ISK, how much I have in my wallet, my buy order value, and my sell order value. And I decided to change that up a little bit by removing the sell order value. Because with all of my buy orders, if I right click cancel, I'm going to get the ISK back minus the broker fees. If I right click the sell orders, right click cancel, I'm going to get the items back. So that's not ISK in the wallet anymore. So what I've done <clears throat> is I've switched over to just the the uh, buy orders and my wallet. So yesterday, you can see I started with buy order sell or start buy sell. I ended with start or with the end value and the S. And even that um, drop out 14 mil. So I made just over 100 mil total yesterday which was fantastic streaming for eight hours i think helped because i'm getting social and i'm actually focused and having a good time um but i went ahead and broke it down in my goals and each day starting at 375 which is roughly where i started um you take 279 you add 100 you're 379 round it to 375 to make the numbers easier 50 mil a day <clears throat> By day 21, I'll have 925. I don't know what the hell's going on. I apologize again. We need to remember to edit those out. But day 11, 425, or 375, 425, so on and so forth, all the way up. Now I'm positive 72 at the start of this morning. Um, something just moved. And... To me, that's kind of the cool thing. It's like, ooh, something just moved. Awesome. So I'm 72 mil over my daily goal. And if I keep that up, there's a good chance I could get day 16, day 17, and hit my mark. Now, does that mean I'm done? Absolutely not. Day 21 is my when I'm done. Now, if I hit 90 or 925 for a flex... Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you they're at 893. They've actually gone down, which does help me out a lot. It's less ISK I have to spend for a plex. 893-087-000.01. However, there's that broker fee again. It's an additional 23 million ISK. So if I hit my very last day, shit's about to die and I'm done and I've got 925, I can make it. That gives me what? Eight million and some change to start new with my first full month. Now, if I can get over a bill, that's more ISK that I have to begin the new month with. It's where it's something to compile on. So basically, look like you're investing a thousand dollars into some kind of CD or investment or mutual fund, and at the end of that month you have to pull out a value. This, obviously, is $925 million. You can use round numbers. So at the end of that month, you got to pull 1000 back out. Well, if you can make 2000 and I'm not saying I'm going to make 1.8 bill, no. But if you can make 2000 that month, you're pulling that first 1000 out, you now have the 1000 for the next month, and you keep building and building and building. Simple investment math, folks. So that's kind of what I'm working for. And then once this, this gets into an active account, I can start using my other accounts. Hey, this is a buy order for this price in Jitta and a sell order for this price in Amar. Hit up the corp dudes like, hey, homies, who wants to do a freighter run? I'll pay you from Jitta to Amar. Hit me up, let me know. They can make a little bit of ISK. I can make a little bit of ISK. Everybody's happy. So... We'll see where I can get. Um, again, if I could do these rates, I'd be ecstatic. Like today, for example, we started at 485, where we ended at 497. And that's because stuff buys and values change. 
So if somebody gets to a buy order, that's a difference of what? 12 mil? Yeah. It means when I got up, I got started, there was about 12 mil in assets sitting here. And that's the other thing you have to battle. So, and yeah, I'll turn around and throw those back up on the market. Hopefully they'll sell. And currently, we don't want to do that because that can get me in trouble. Currently, we are sitting at 356-806-188.58068283. So 514 from 8485. That's what, 30 mil? I'm doing all right already. I'm going to hit that 50 mil here pretty quick. Maybe, let's see here. It's 10 a.m., maybe even by lunchtime. How awesome would that be? So do a hundred mil a day. Starting at three seventy five, or start just short of five hundred. Make it just short of six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. If I bust my ass, I could finish it in two weeks, which is your standard trial. So that would require a lot of busting my ass and a lot of luck. Speaking of luck, two days ago I got. I got bonused. Um, what happened was somebody misclicked. They put in the wrong number and they sold me four 1 million isk items for 11 million isk and I profited 40 mil. Yesterday on the stream, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, you should have seen this. This was amazing. I, I bonused yesterday. Um, somebody screwed up and I reaped the rewards. The 800 millimeter roll chunks and compact plates roll around, picking them up for 375k with a margin up to 1.9 mil. That's a mil and a half profit. And then this dude drops 500 of them for 450k, cutting 1.5 mil, 400 percent, I think it was, off the profit. And I had already gotten like 30 of them. I'm down to seven left. And you can see I went from 1.5 down to 0.5 or 1.9 to 0.5. And it was, it was painful. Oh, I was bitching about it in the stream. Everybody's laughing at me. They're just jerks. They're jerks. Anyhow, that's Eve market karma. People talk about the market PVP. Excuse me. Market PVP, and that's a prime example of market PVP. So, whoever dropped the 500, kudos to you. You got me. Obviously, it wasn't, ooh, I'm going to get that fat man. No, I, I understand. It's not directly targeted at me. It's targeted at the market. But good job. You did it. You probably pissed off a lot of people. But it is what it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. If you're enjoying this little experiment, let me know. Um, I've got a channel. In game, gestures, crew, capital J, capital C, two words, no apostrophe. I'll throw the uh, the name of it down in the, in the description below, as well as a link if you want to check this game out. Give you three weeks instead of two, um, just like I'm doing here to check it out. Questions, comments, concerns, ideas, suggestions. Hey, what do you think of this or what do you think of that? Throw it in the comment section. Join the channel shoot the shit, have a good time. So if you're enjoying it, hit that thumbs up if you had breakfast today. I did. I had me some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It was amazing. I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But hit that thumbs up button. If you hated it, I don't know why you're still here because then you thought the video sucked, but you made it through the whole thing. Makes no sense to me. Anyhow, till next video, till next stream, till next time, take care. I'll catch up with you then.